In this mini clip, we will be discussing rounding, significant figures, and scientific notation. We will be discussing these topics by answering this question here. It asks us to round 0 0.008275 to two significant figures in scientific notation. Before we begin, I'm just going to rewrite this number underneath our question here. So here's our number that the question asks us to round to two significant figures. To start, let's discuss which numbers are considered significant and which are not. These three zeros here are not considered significant. All they tell us is that there is no number in the ones, tenths, or hundredths column and that the decimal actually begins in the thousands column with this eight. So these zeros are considered placeholders and are not significant. Therefore, this eight is our first significant figure and this two is our second significant figure. Because our question wants us to round to two significant figures, this means that we need to get rid of the seven and the five. To eliminate the 7 and 5, we need to round. When rounding, we need to look at the number immediately to the right of the last number we want in our answer. Because we want only two significant figures, this is the last number that we want in our answer, this 2. The number immediately to the right of this number is the 7. This number immediately right to the last number we want in our final answer is going to help us round. If this number is greater than or equal to 5, this means that we're going to have to add 1 to the number before it. However, if this number is less than 5, then we will leave our last digit the way it is. Now in our case, we have 7 as the number immediately to the right of the last digit in our final answer. Now since 7 is greater than 5, we are going to have to add 1 to this number here, the 2. So I'm just going to write here, since 7 is greater than 5, therefore we round up. Now what I mean by round up is just that we are simply going to add a 1 to this number here. So our answer will be, we'll leave all the numbers before this last digit. So we have 0 decimal 0, 0, 008. And now because this is greater than 5, we need to add 1 to our last digit, so we will have 3. This is our number rounded to two significant figures. Now we need to write this in scientific notation. To write this number in scientific notation, we want our decimal to be after the first significant figure. In our case, our first significant figure is the 8. So we want our decimal to be after the 8. In other words, we will have 8 followed by decimal, and then we write out the numbers following the 8, which in our case will be 3. We have 8 decimal 3. Now we're going to multiply this number by a power, and this power will always have a base of 10. So we are multiplying by a power that has a base 10. Now we just need to find out our exponent of our power. But the exponent will depend on which direction we moved our decimal and how many times we moved it. In our case, we had the decimal starting here and we moved it in the rightward direction in order to get the decimal following the 8. Because we moved it in the rightward direction, this means that our exponent will be negative. 
Now we need to find the value of our exponent. Because the base of our power is 10, this means that we are going to move our decimal one number at a time, or by a factor of 10. In our case, we started with the decimal here, and we moved it over once, twice, three times in order to get it after the 8. This means that our value in our exponent will be 3. Therefore, our number rounded to two significant figures and in scientific notation will be 8.3 times 10 to the exponent negative 3.